Alessandro, this, of course, is your first show that you've been on with us since the passing of Gianluca Vialli, a player that you knew well, of course. You won the Champions League with him at Juventus, uh, played it at international level alongside him as well. Um, I just want you to have the platform just to, to share some memories that you have of playing with Luca. Well, uh, it's, it's so sad what happened to Luca, you know, and um, to be honest, it, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, still very difficult to, to tell some funny story that we used, we used to say uh, when I was a little kid because I joined Juventus when I was 18. Uh, and to be in a team with him, with Roberto Baggio, was an amazing feeling for Italian, you know, the best striker that you can have the best people that represent Italy in those in that period and you know having Luca all the time on my side you know and uh, and scoring probably the winning the game that you know changed our our year at Juve when we won against Fiorentina and you know that we always happy to remember my god the last minute but because we won 3-2 and we were down to zero, but the other two goals were Luca, was made by Luca, and, and and Luca was truly a captain for us inside and outside the field. In that game, we scored two two, and and we were so happy. Uh, but he went to take the ball and come back from the middle of the field and say, "We're going to win this game," and we were, uh, we will follow him, you know, because of his way to. To participate inside the team, he was to involve the players. Even me, that I was, you know, literally 18, 19, the youngest on the team. So, uh, and uh, and was a truly blessed for me, you know, be with him, you know, and still considering him my captain and our captain. And uh, of course, the way that he faced this period was. Uh, incredible with so much strain and enjoy in the meantime that uh, it's something that was really shocked me in a very positive way because uh, you know when you have that kind of disease you know that you don't have a lot of chances you know so but he always has a smile for everyone he always has a a good word for everyone and what he did with the national team in Euro 2020 was was some kind of connection with the with the sky, with the world of football in Italy, what that, what it means for us as Italians, and and uh, you know it's a big loss for for everybody. Uh, is a is a huge loss. Alessandro, I appreciate it. I very appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much for for speaking. So honestly and from the heart about Luca Vialli, who of course passed away uh, this month as he lost his battle with cancer at the age of 58. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.